Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I will continue discussing about the uh, real time interview question. Uh, so basically, uh, the student who facing the interview on different different uh, uh, company, so they just collecting the all the question uh, real time question. So in this video, I will discuss the question. Uh, one of my student who attend for the uh, Vpro for the role of the uh, SQL developer and database developer. So they basically ask some type of the uh, little bit uh, complex question. So that uh, I'm going to discuss that question. So basically out of uh, uh, seven to eight uh, query based uh, scenario based question they ask. So out of eight, I pick up five question and uh, I will explain what is the exactly question is there. So I already uploaded a uh, couple of the question under the video playlist uh, SQL practice exercise the solution and also with the SQL interview question. So you can find all the uh, real time uh, scenario based question based on the company ask. So if you collect all this question definitely uh, you have the question bank okay and uh, uh, you able to crack any type of the question or any type of the interview uh, related to the SQL like the business analyst or the data analyst or the uh, system analyst. Uh, if you want to uh, see all uh, bank question bank, you can also practice uh, under my uh, website studyiteducation.com and you can purchase this course and you can find all this set of the question and uh, if uh, anyone interested to learn the python uh, i'm basically planning to provide the training on the python for the data analyst uh, so if uh, who the learner who watching this video if you really interested just you can uh, uh, put the comment as yes so i i just need to figure out the uh, how many students are really interested to learn the python as well because the if you have the combination of the python and the sql uh, this is a very good opportunity uh, to crack uh, any type of the interview okay so let's start with this uh, uh, question so first i will discuss what exactly the question is there so uh, basically the question is the uh, write a query to create a product table with the column id name product price and both product date so Till here the question looks very easy okay so just you need to be create one product table uh, with the column id product name and product price and product date and uh, the question come under the little bit tricky that uh, insert uh, uh, 10,000 dummy record insert 1 lakh dummy record in the this table so here the uh, student faced the challenging like uh, uh, how you can insert the some type of the uh, dummy record because if you put the insert something into table name uh, manually what we will do we can create the table and we can input the insert manually so 10,000 manually typing is very uh, very time consuming okay so uh, how you can uh, do through the SQL code how you can optimize uh, how you can process this uh, requirement within one minute okay so that need to be solved in the second part of the question so i will discuss also how you can solve this type of the question so when the product table is created based on this product table only they put it more um, around uh, five to six question related to this only so uh, the first second question is the find the list of the product uh, which uh, sold on last month La like uh, last one month uh, uh, sales data need to be required based on this table the third question is related to uh, same table find the list of the product which sold on November 2020 how many products sold on November 2020 uh, we need to be get the all the list of the product okay uh, fourth question is the find the list of the product which sold on Monday so out of 10,000 record how, how many how many product was sold on Monday uh, how many customer purchase so basically this type of the question why they asking uh, if you uh, do the some type of the data analysis okay so you need to be figured out the in which day uh, customer more purchasing the product okay so based on that uh, need to be 
do some type of the analysis so that uh, uh, they have the uh, lot of the uh, sales on this day so before day we need to be put more inventory uh, into the whatever the uh, shops is there or so something the online if you selling the product we need to be available each and everything so that is the reason uh, this type of the question uh, most of the interviewer will ask uh, uh, based on the data analysis point of view now the fifth question is the uh, find the number of a day from the today date to the first product sold so how many what is the number of day day difference between the today date and the day when the first product was sold based on this product table okay so uh, let's discuss with this all the question uh, related to this so uh, to save my time uh, i already uh, uh, write the code to create the table okay so uh, basically uh, to create the table simply you can just write the create table table name product table i created and uh, i put it the id is identity product name and product price and purchase date so this table is created now the main question is the uh, how we can insert the dummy table okay so uh, basically to insert the uh, this type of the data uh, you need to be use the concept of the uh, while loop okay so using the while loop you need to be uh, uh, first thing how we can uh, implement this all the logic here okay so i am just declaring three variable uh, one variable name is the uh, start second one is the end third one is the initial price because we need to be also in uh, set some type of the dummy because they mentioned the dummy record so initial price i put it uh, you need to be uh, set to start from the uh, something i i need to be use the start with the uh, one okay and the end with the 10000 record if someone asks you one uh, uh, then the one uh, lakh record you can just increase the one value and we put it the initial initial price so initial price product will be uh, 100 okay so now you need to be loop something the while loop okay so uh, basically uh, i'm using the while loop concept here okay so i'm starting with the start less than is equal to end okay so start value is the one and the end value will be 1000 that is the reason i declare two variable and I'm using the begin statement and uh, after the begin uh, you need to be just uh, uh, end here so in this body of the code you need to be uh, write the code so we need to be insert the data so we need to be write this uh, uh, insert statement okay so insert into product table because id column is the identity column so it will be identity value and the product name uh, product price and pro product date so we need to be select here okay uh, select uh, select first product name okay so product name you can give the uh, some uh, like product one product two product three dummy data so one two three you need to be increased something like one two three start date okay so uh, we can use the concatenate function okay so concatenate function is basically uh, they concatenate the value so if I use the product uh, and the start so they will put the first product one okay so now the second one is the product price so uh, we have the initial price initial price plus uh, you can use the uh, whatever the something uh, uh, whatever the start value you have okay so uh, start value you have something like uh, one and then you need to be use the purchase date so purchase date you need to be used the for last uh, uh, previous date from the yesterday okay so just you can uh, use the gate date okay gate date minus start date so they will just uh, insert the value uh, minus like one today day yesterday day like this one so the data will be inserted and now again what you need to do uh, for looping purpose you need to be use the uh, set here okay set uh, we need to be increment one value at a time okay so if you not watch the while loop concept you can go and uh, watch the complete uh, while loop concept so now if you run the code here from the declare to the this one okay so the looping will be performed so now you can see uh, if you can see in the message one row affected one row affected okay so now if you put this select star from table name okay uh, if you put this select star from table name 
select R from table name. Now you can see the dummy data will be inserted on this table. Okay, so you can see 10,000 row uh, will be inserted. Product ID is the one. So its product name is product one and uh, product price is the 101. So this is one the started date uh, and uh, 432. Like uh, if you go to the light last, you can see. In 1995, uh, the last product was sold, and the product uh, number is called the product 1000, and the product price is equal to one uh, uh, 1100, 10,100. Okay, so uh, this type of the question you will get. Basically, they want to think that you are you have the capability to uh, implement the logic or not. You have the concept of the while loop or not. So any time, if any anyone asks you. Uh, uh, this type of the question in any interview so you can able to answer this type of the question very easily so if you have a still doubt if you are not able to understand okay suggest you can ping the question uh, on the comment box now uh, coming to the next question uh, like the uh, select R from product uh, if you have the filter uh, that sold on the last month okay so uh, to the last month uh, you need to be uh, you need to be think about the what built-in function uh, we need to be use here okay so i already discussed the date add function so date add function is basically used to uh, give the add the date and if you want to add the last three months you need to be pass the last uh, value so simply you can put the pro where purchase date is greater than date add yeah, here you need to be put the day and they asking last one month so you can put minus 30 if they are asking two months, you can put minus 60. Uh, here also, you, if anyone asks you something like the week also, last two weeks data. So just you can use the week. I uh, Let me show you. Okay, so so this is the last month data. Okay, so if someone asks you question like uh, how we can find the last two week uh, uh, purchase date. Okay, so just you can use the uh, in place of the day, uh, week. Okay, and you can pass the are uh, minus two so this last two week uh, data will be there so you can see this is last two week data uh, if someone asks you how we can find the like uh, last uh, last uh, two years data okay so in plus in place of the uh, week you can just put the year here and uh, put the last suppose five years data is required okay so uh, just you can put minus five okay so you will get the all the detail product which sold on last five years okay so you can see uh, we have 1825 uh, product sold in last uh, five years so if you do if you have the concept of the building function very clear uh, you can able to answer all this question now same thing uh, find the list of the product which sold on and uh, number 1020 okay so same you can uh, use this select R from product okay so basically here you need to be use the date part function so date part function is basically give the part of the year part of the month month and the year okay so you can use the two filter select R from product where date part month purchase date uh, is equal to 11 okay and uh, 2020 if anyone ask you related to the something uh, any year or any month you, you can use the same concept so you will get the all the product uh, which sold on the November 2020. So in the purchase date, you can see only November 2020 is coming. Okay. So so this date part function, date time function, very important for each and every question. Now we have the uh, question is the find the list of the product uh, which sold on Monday. Okay. So uh, basically for Monday we have the date uh, date name function. Okay. So they will give basically give the each and every name of this particular date whatever you provide okay so just you can use the select R from product aware date name dw is the date part weekday purchase date is equal to monday so you will get all the product uh, who sold on monday only so we have 40 29 product who sold on monday and the last question is the find the number of days okay uh, from the date to the first purchase date okay so if you if you select star from product okay so uh, we when the first product was purchased so we have the purchase date okay just you can use the mean function okay so here you need to be use the uh, mean function uh, when the last product was purchased okay so 
so if you can see last product was purchased one the first product was purchased on the uh, 20th uh, march 1950 1995 okay so you need to be give the difference so difference is the basically uh, from today date to the uh, the first purchase date this is the 95 date okay so just you can use the date difference function so date difference function is basically used to find the difference of the two date in term of the year in term of the day okay if someone asks you the year you can put the year if year the question is the date so just you can put the date and minimum purchase date and today date is the gate date so you will get the total number of the day so it's 1000 okay if someone asks you how many uh, year is there okay so just you can use the year function here okay so uh, it's 27 year but the question is related to day okay so uh, you can just use the day here so I uh, hope you clear about all this question and this is very interesting question uh, they basically ask in the uh, SQL uh, interview question so if you able to solve this real time practical question okay uh, you will definitely crack any type of the interview and if you want to learn the one to one uh, SQL training with the interview preparation with me uh, you can directly enroll on the link given in the video description and if you have any query uh, you can just uh, 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 connect with the number provided on the video description so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video i will meet again on next video thank you